Okay, everybody, listen up. Ladies, take a good look at your makeup bag. Is it neat and orderly, stocked only with the products you need? Or does just the thought of digging in there to find your mascara or powder make you ill? Our makeup bags are pretty scary, <laughs> I have are. to say. Well, today, with the help of celebrity makeup artist Dee Dee Nickel, we are making over your makeup bag. First, we sent two of our coworkers, Connecticut Style Director Tracy Doherty mm -hmm. and web producer Rebecca Santillo to Dee Dee Nichols Makeup Studio in New Haven to see whether Dee Dee would give their cosmetics cases the thumbs up. Take a look. Makeup bags in hand, Tracy and Rebecca are about to find out exactly what they're doing right and wrong when it comes to their daily beauty routine. Hi, oh, Dee Dee. How are you? Good to see you? And who better to help them out? Then celebrity makeup artist Dee Dee Nichols. What we're going to do is we're going to put everything into kind of piles, and I want you to talk me through what you use, how you use it, okay. like what your regular everyday look is, and what your look would be if you're going out. I tend to stick with a lot of the pinks, okay, or the browns. The general rule for anybody, not just someone with brown eyes, is that you want a color that contrasts with your eye color. So anything that's too brown is probably not the best choice for you. I don't know why, where at some point in my life I thought I had to try and go with more of my eye color. You know what I mean? Yes. I don't know if that's just that myth that's out there, that urban legend. That it is. is uh, okay. It's kind of out there floating around, and I'm trying to handle that one okay. person at a time. All right. <laughs> From eyes to cheeks. Well, this is definitely too brown. To lips. This is my new favorite. Okay. Dee Dee picks out the products to keep. I like this. I think this is a good color for you. It's very okay. close to your natural lip color. And which ones to toss. I don't like this color for you. <laughs> <laughs> for lips, I think you definitely want something that just kind of highlights your natural lip color. So a gloss is a good way to do that. I mean, a clear gloss, I don't think is going to give you enough. I think we need to, we can step it up a little bit. Okay, so let's get started. All right. First step, primer. It gives you like a nice smooth palette. You'll use less product and you'll get a sheer finish. Next, on Rebecca, a tinted moisturizer. On Tracy, a mineral powder foundation. We're going to move to concealer. Dee Dee uses concealer on the eyelids as an eyeshadow base. And it'll help keep your eyeshadows from creasing. Oh, yeah, I hate that. Yeah, it'll help keep them looking fresh all day. So once you put your eyes on in the morning, if you put concealer underneath, they should stay put. For shadow, Dee Dee typically uses a lighter shade on the lid. You're covering the lid up to the crease, but not any further up than the crease. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to use the gel liner, and the nice thing about these, they're very forgiving. Using a darker shadow, Dee Dee smudges the line for a smoky look. And here's where you get to have fun kind of playing with color. You could maybe do like a, a dark plum there instead. You could use um, a navy. Once the color is done, Dee Dee uses concealer to create what she calls the instant eye lift. The focus for your concealer should be through here. Mm -hmm. It should be out here at the outer corner, and then you can blend it. Down. Kind of push it in the middle. Exactly. Okay. Moving on to cheeks. If you're wearing a powder foundation, you want to wear a powder blush. Oh. So powder always goes on powder. If you're wearing a tinted moisturizer or a cream foundation or something liquid, you want to use a cream blush. And the bottom line for lips, Dee Dee says choose colors that are a half shade darker or lighter than your natural lip color. Time for the big reveal. Take a look at Rebecca before and after. Looking at yourself now, is, do you really notice a big difference? It's crazy. I just feel fabulous. You know, I, I can't believe the change that Dee Dee made. It's just a few easy steps. And what about Tracy's transformation? Check her out. Number one lesson that you're taking away from your session with Dee Dee Nickel. Number one lesson is no white eyeshadow on my lid <laughs> or on the upper brow. White is only for in here to clarify, and that I don't need um, bottom. I don't need mascara or eyeliner on the bottom. Make the eyes pop. Do you white. feel like this is something you can do on your own? Yes. I just have to stop being lazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I can come in and look pretty for everybody at work, even though nobody sees me. <laughs> We see you, Doherty. We, we see you. And we love you. She's Doherty. directing our show right now, so we should say she makes us look good every day. Every day, and we love you for it. <laughs> Let's talk about that last tip, though. She talked about the white eyeshadow. Yes. You found that in my makeup I bag. sure did. Here mm -hmm. it is. And I see a lot of people using really shimmery light shadows on their brow bone. And the problem with that is we want people to look at your eye, not your eyebrow. 
your eyebrows. Right. The focus should always be your eyes. If someone compliments you and says, oh, that's a really great eyeshadow you have up there, that is not a compliment. Right. They should be looking and at your eyes. And before eye. meeting you, I would highlight my brow bone and use it just for that. And now I no longer do that. I use it on the inner corner. Yeah, and on the inner corners, it just brightens up your eye. You shouldn't use it uh, too much. I mean, mm -hmm. you want to use just a little bit so it brightens the inner bridge of your um, nose, okay. um, which is where most people get dark. Okay, good to know. Yes. And where, what is the rule of thumb, though, when you're applying that eyeshadow? Mm -hmm. What is the rule of thumb? Well, you really shouldn't have color above the crease. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is we're creating a frame for the eye. So if you were going to frame a picture, um, you would frame right around the picture, right? Okay. You're right. not going to frame away from the picture, yeah. <laughs> which is what this would be. Oh, that's a good analogy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else did you find? Okay. Well, I found a couple things. We talked about mineral powders mm -hmm. and mineral foundations. Hello, kabuki brush. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and the kabuki wow. brush is the way to go, but this one. I use that for my blush. Okay. Well, it, it probably shouldn't be used for your blush. That's the first problem. The second problem is I think it's seen better days. I think there's a family of squirrels in there. So, I'm yeah. going to purchase a new blush brush from yes, you. Yes, please. Okay? I, I will bring you one. You're next, Fontaine. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure we got a good shot of that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right, there okay. You go. So here, these are just. I know you, this is a blush. This is an eyeshadow. Where were you? Using, where are you using? Wherever this? it will land. Wherever it goes. Okay. I told you earlier, we're okay. in a recession. I just hold on to everything. Okay. 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 Well, first of all, these are too pastel for you. So pastels are not the right choice. Even for, you. for my skin tone, because I'm so brown, so brown skinned. You need something with with some color. That's fine. Okay. And, but these are just too pastel. Okay. Uh, you need something richer. Okay. Uh, like more jewel tones. Oh. Right. Should more African American women that are much darker skin stick with jewel tones? Yes, okay. I think so. I, I think that this is going to look almost kind of um, ashy oh, on you. Oh. Yeah, right? That's okay. no good. No, not at all. <laughs> That's not good. And then we also have, I, and these, I understand why people buy these because they're sort of a paint by number concept and they're easy, but you should really just buy the products that you need. There's always something in these kits that you're not going to use. Okay. You know, I'd rather see people have the right five products than have a hundred products that don't work for them. Right. Right? And that's what these kits usually do. So I, I noticed that you're using this color mm -hmm. and really haven't done anything with these You other know, three. there are so many takeaway tips that you were able to teach our viewers today. But I have to say, it's such a great experience to go to your studio in New Haven mm -hmm. on State Street yeah. and sit there and get that, you know, personalized makeup lesson. You can get all of this great yeah. advice by visiting Dee Dee Nickel Makeup Studio in New Haven. There's the information on the screen. You can always just come to our website, WTNH.com, and click on the Connecticut Style link and get it through there. Dee Dee Nickel. Yay! Makeup was so much stars. fun. Making us beautiful every day. So, so thank fun. you. Oh, if you want to hear more Connecticut Style coming your way right after this.